Welcome, everybody. Welcome, good afternoon to all of you here and online. Uh, my name is Frank Place. I'm the director of the CGIR Research Program on Policies, Institutions, and Markets. And it gives me great pleasure to, uh, to moderate this, uh, this policy seminar today. Um, for those of you online, I want to say that we're hosting this in the, in the middle of a, another meeting that we're having. So the room is packed. We have about 80 to 90 people in the room. So we're going to have a very good and lively uh, uh, presentation today. Um, let me um, just begin by uh, introducing our first speaker, uh, who's going to be Simeon Awe from the World Bank. He's the director of the Global Agricultural Practice. He'll make a few opening remarks, and then I'll introduce the, the, the main speaker in a moment. So, Simeon. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's always a pleasure to be uh, at IFRI. It's my uh, actually first time to be in the new location, and uh, and uh, it's very impressive, I have to say. I'm also excited to to be able to give the welcoming remark for this uh, particular uh, seminar on agriculture and food system transformation for better food security and nutrition in Euro Asia. Uh, I am um, joined here also by uh, colleagues from the World Bank. Where's Julian sitting? I've seen him just earlier. Julian, Julian is the manager uh, in charge of uh, the uh, what we call the uh, east, uh, the, um, the Central Asia and Eastern Europe, you know, program. So this the whole the partnership with IFRI is uh, falls through really directly uh, under his purview, and you're going to have uh, out of us also uh, on the panel. Um, I also came a bit earlier, and I was able to participate in the discussion of the work that, that the PIM you know, is doing, and I want to congratulate everyone for doing that. It's a great pleasure to see also Frank Place, uh, with whom I worked many years ago uh, you know, when he was at the World Agroforestry Center. So glad to see you in this new role, really, and I look forward to you know, partnering uh, with you more okay, in this work. So, um, this, this, this topic of today is quite uh, important uh, to us. It's uh, one of the initiatives that, that the World Bank has been uh, 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 doing uh, together with the partners in you know, the Central Asia region, uh, together with, uh, with IFPRI. So um, the, 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 Euro, the ECFS, uh, Eurasian Center for Food Security, was created in the wake of the food crisis uh, in 2008 when uh, Russia decided to establish that to help countries think about the, the implication of the food prices rise on you know, food security issues on the countries in the, in the region. So the World Bank you know, stepped in to help uh, respond to that by actually doing what we call in the World Bank jargon the RAS, which is the Reimbursable Advisory Service, basically. So what it means is that the country actually pays you know, the World Bank to be able to, to, to do some policy analysis work uh, with them. So it's, 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 it, 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 this is the second phase, and the second phase is like $2.5 million, where uh, you know, the World Bank is working with you know, uh, CGI centers, uh, and particularly the IFPRI CGI program, to look at the food security questions in you know, uh, the sub-region. And we're talking about uh, six countries uh, that are actually being, uh, you know, for, that uh, the target of this particular program, uh, the Armenia, you know, Russia, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, and um, Uzbekistan. Having you know uh, had a conversation and you know with my team over there in the World Bank and uh, and understanding what the issues are, it came out very clearly that the six countries that we are talking about are really not homogeneous in terms of uh, policies. They are actually different, even though from Afar, we can think that uh, you know, you know, they, they look alike. So they are quite different in terms of uh, many criteria, like the policy formulation, in terms of policy focus, trade regimes, and crisis response. And the second issue that came up in our different conversations is that um, uh, none of the countries really has you know consistent budget commitment to food, you know, uh, and security policies and outcome. And uh, the poorer countries depend a lot on donor assistance. And then the richer countries also are resorting to a lot of trade 
restricting policies. So they really want to find out, uh, you know, through this work, you know, how they can actually improve the policy environment in, uh, in, in the sub-region. One uh, key issues in terms of food security uh, that, uh, the, that is common among the three countries is really the, the issue of hidden hunger or micronutrient deficiencies uh, that are really critical you know, issues of uh, food security facing you know, the, three, uh, the, the, the six countries. And um, the richer countries actually also face the issue of obesity. So uh, uh, the discussion here today uh, will be quite uh, useful in, in enlightening you know, us about uh, the key uh, policy issues that are emerging from the work, the research, and what more can we do you know, to help that. It's a model that actually, to me, is quite uh, revealing because if it is quite successful, it's something that we want to you know, replicate in other parts. So I want to really congratulate the teams, the, the group, and I, and I want to welcome you know, everyone to the seminar. And I want to tell you that the World Bank is quite pleased and proud to be part of this particular activity. And we want to continue doing this kind of thing, supporting you know, our partner, the CGIR. So welcome, and thank you for inviting you know, us to this particular seminar. Yeah.